Welcome to DC Digital Learning. This is Bachelor of Science Mathematics Real Analysis class and in this class we are going to discuss problems on improper integrals. Problems on improper integrals of first kind. Problem 1. Examine the convergence of integral of 1 by x dx from 1 to infinity. Solution. Given integral integral of 1 by x dx from 1 to infinity is an improper integral of first kind. So by definition which is equal to limit of integral of 1 by x dx from 1 to b as b tends to infinity on integration which is equal to limit of log x from 1 to b as b tends to infinity applying the limits which is equal to limit of log b minus log 1 as b tends to infinity which is equal to limit of log b as b tends to infinity because log 1 equals 0 which is equal to infinity therefore given integral integral of 1 by x dx from 1 to infinity is divergent Problem 2. Examine the convergence of integral of 1 by square root of x dx from 1 to infinity. Solution. Here the given integral, integral of 1 by root x dx from 1 to infinity is an improper integral of first kind as the upper limit is infinity. So by definition which is equal to limit of integral of 1 by root x dx from 1 to t as t tends to infinity on integration which is equal to limit of 2 square root of x from 1 to t as t tends to infinity applying the limits which is equal to limit 2 root 2 minus 2 root 1 as t tends to infinity on simplification which is equal to infinity minus 2 which is equal to infinity. Therefore, given integral, integral of 1 by root x dx from 1 to infinity is divergent. Problem 3. Examine the convergence of integral of 1 by 1 plus x square dx from 0 to infinity. Solution. Given integral, integral of 1 by 1 plus x square dx from 0 to infinity is an improper integral of first kind as the upper limit is infinity. By definition which is equal to limit of integral of 1 by 1 plus x square dx from 0 to t as t tends to infinity on integration which is equal to limit of tan inverse of x from 0 to t as t tends to infinity applying the limits which is equal to limit of tan inverse of t minus tan inverse of 0 as t tends to infinity which is equal to tan inverse infinity minus tan inverse 0 which is equal to pi by 2 as tan inverse 0 is 0 therefore Given integral, integral of 1 by 1 plus x square dx from 0 to infinity is convergent and its value is pi by 2. Problem 4. Examine the convergence of integral of e raised to minus mx dx from 0 to infinity where m is greater than 0. Solution. The given integral, integral of e raised to minus mx dx from 0 to infinity is an improper integral of first kind as upper limit is infinity. So by definition, this is equal to limit of integral of e raised to minus mx dx from 0 to b as b tends to infinity on integration which is equal to limit of e raised to minus mx by minus m from 0 to b as b tends to infinity applying the limits which is equal to limit of e raised to minus mb minus e raised to 0 by minus m 
as b tends to infinity. So, given integral is equal to e raised to minus infinity minus e raised to 0 by minus m, which is equal to 0 minus 1 by minus m as e raised to minus infinity equals 0, which is equal to 1 by m. Therefore, integral of e raised to minus mx dx from 0 to infinity where m is greater than 0 is convergent and its value is 1 by m. Problem 5. Examine the convergence of integral of sin x dx from 0 to infinity. Solution. The given integral, integral of sin x dx from 0 to infinity is an improper integral of first kind as the upper limit is infinity. So, by definition, this is equal to limit of integral of sin x dx from 0 to t as t tends to infinity. On integration, this is equal to limit of minus cos x from 0 to t as t tends to infinity, which is equal to limit of minus cos t plus cos 0 as t tends to infinity, which is equal to 1 minus limit of cos t as t tends to infinity, which does not exist uniquely since cos t oscillates between minus 1 and plus 1 as t tends to infinity. Therefore, given integral, integral of sin x dx from 0 to infinity is not convergent and oscillates finitely. Now, problems on improper integrals of second kind. Problem 1. Examine the convergence of integral of 1 by square root of x dx from 0 to 1. Solution. Note that 0 is the only point of infinite discontinuity in the domain of integration closed interval 0, 1. Therefore, given integral, integral of 1 by root x dx from 0 to 1 is equal to limit of integral of 1 by root x dx from 0 plus epsilon to 1 as epsilon tends to 0 from right. On integration, which is equal to limit of 2 root x from epsilon to 1 as epsilon tends to 0 from right, which is equal to limit of 2 root 1 minus 2 root epsilon as epsilon tends to 0 from right, which is equal to 2 minus limit of 2 root epsilon as epsilon tends to 0 from right, which is equal to 2. Therefore, given integral, integral of 1 by root x dx from 0 to 1 is convergent and its value is 2. Problem 2. Examine the convergence of integral of 1 by square root of a minus x dx from 0 to a. Solution. Note that a is the only point of infinite discontinuity in the domain of integration closed interval 0 a. So, by definition, integral of 1 by square root of a minus x dx from 0 to a is equal to limit of integral of 1 by square root of a minus x dx from 0 to a minus epsilon as epsilon tends to 0 from right, which is equal to limit of minus 2 square root of a minus x from 0 to a minus epsilon as epsilon tends to 0 from right, which is equal to limit of 2 square root of a minus 2 square root of epsilon as epsilon tends to 0 from right, which is equal to 2 square root of a. Therefore, integral of 1 by square root of a minus x dx from 0 to a is 
convergent and integral of 1 by square root of a minus x dx from 0 to a is equal to 2 square root of a. Problem 3. Examine the convergence of integral of 1 by x square dx from minus 1 to 1. Solution. Note that 0 is the only point of infinite discontinuity in the domain of integration closed interval minus 1 to 1. Therefore, given integral, integral of 1 by x square dx from minus 1 to 1 is equal to integral of 1 by x square dx from minus 1 to 0 plus integral of 1 by x square dx from 0 to 1 which is equal to limit of integral of 1 by x square dx from minus 1 to 0 minus epsilon 1 as epsilon 1 tends to 0 from right plus limit of integral of 1 by x square dx from 0 plus epsilon 2 to 1 as epsilon 2 tends to 0 from right which is equal to limit of minus 1 by x from minus 1 to minus epsilon 1 as epsilon 1 tends to 0 from right plus limit of minus 1 by x from epsilon 2 to 1 as epsilon 2 tends to 0 from right which is equal to limit of 1 by epsilon 1 minus 1 as epsilon 1 tends to 0 from right plus limit of minus 1 plus 1 by epsilon 2 as epsilon 2 tends to 0 from right which is equal to infinity minus 1 plus minus 1 plus infinity which is equal to infinity therefore given integral integral of 1 by x square dx from minus 1 to 1 is divergent problem 4 examine the convergence of integral of x by square root of a square minus x square dx from minus a to a solution note that both the endpoints minus a and a are the points of infinite discontinuity in the domain of integration closed interval minus a a therefore integral of x by square root of a square minus x square dx from minus a to a is equal to integral of x by square root of a square minus x square dx from minus a to 0 plus integral of x by square root of a square minus x square dx from 0 to a which is equal to limit of integral of x by square root of a square minus x square dx from minus a plus epsilon 1 to 0 as epsilon 1 tends to 0 from right plus limit of integral of x by square root of a square minus x square dx from 0 to a minus epsilon 2 as epsilon 2 tends to 0 from right which is equal to limit of minus square root of a square minus x square from minus a plus epsilon 1 to 0 as epsilon 1 tends to 0 from right plus limit of minus square root of a square minus x square from 0 to a minus epsilon 2 as epsilon 2 tends to 0 from right which is equal to limit of minus a plus square root of epsilon 1 times 2a minus epsilon 1 as epsilon 1 tends to 0 from right plus limit of minus square root of epsilon 2 times 2a minus epsilon 2 plus a as epsilon 2 tends to 0 from right which is equal to minus a plus a which is equal to 0 therefore integral of x by square root of a square minus x square dx from minus a to a is convergent and value of integral of 
x by square root of a square minus x square dx from minus a to a is equal to 0. That's all in this video. Thank you.